Okay, so we've got our player moving side to side. When I hit my play mode, uh, there it goes. Oh, I've updated the flip. So now he's moving and he's changing directions. So let's get yours doing that. So if I click on my player, you'll notice that uh, I've got my local scale, transform local scale here. This option is at two, right? And he's facing in the right direction. But if I change this to a negative two, he flips into the other direction. So essentially we have to find a way to get our code to automatically go from scale two to scale negative two when we press the left button or the right button, right? We want them facing this direction when we press the right button and we want them facing the left direction when we, when we press the left button. So let's go into our code document and see how I did it. Well, in the last lesson, we already created this private bool facing right and we created the void start facing right equals true. And those are all necessary, right? Because we're going to use this bool to set it to true or false based on which direction we want them facing. And I've added this new function right here, which is essentially controlling his flipping from one side to the other. So if I zoom in here you can see what this function is all about so it's a private void flip and again we're feeding in that float horizontal right so horizontal remember is going to be feeding in here either a negative one if we're pressing the left button or a positive one if we're pressing the right button so our conditional starts things off right we start off with a conditional and we're saying if horizontal or if whatever the value of my input is, is less than zero, which means in this case, I would have to be pressing the left button because it would be negative one. And I'm facing right, which would be wrong if I'm pressing the left button, right? Uh, if those two things are happening or if horizontal is greater than zero, which means I'm pressing the right button and I'm not facing right, which means I'm facing in the left direction, if either of these things are true, then we have a problem, right? We need to switch the direction of the player. So we want to take whatever the current value of facing right is, and we want to make it equal to the opposite of that. So this exclamation point essentially means in C, not, right? So facing right equals not facing right. So we're switching the value of facing right here. So if it's a true here, we'll get a false. If it's a false here, then we'll get a true. And what we want to do is we want to, that sets my bool to true or false, but we also want to actually flip the player. So we create this new vector three uh, called B scale. And we're essentially accessing the local scale component of unity. So if I go up here, and we look up here, this is the transform local scale values, right? These, this X, Y, and Z, that's why it's a, a vector three, right? Cause it has an X, Y, and a Z component. So we're creating a new vector three called the scale and we're accessing the transform component of our local scale for this object. And we're taking the X component of that scale value and we're multiplying it by negative one. So if it's a two and we multiply it by negative one, which means he's moving in the right direction and we want him to flip, then we multiply two times negative one and we get a negative two, which uh, makes v scale dot x, the x component equal now to negative two. And then we wanna feed that back in to v scale, right? So that we can flip them again once we go into this condition. So Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to take this function that we've written and we've defined the function here, right down here. This is where we do our function definitions. And up here is where we call our function. So we actually have to call flip horizontal in our fixed update. And uh, if that is done correctly and we save it, uh, we should be able to 
uh, go back out to our main screen here and play the game and our player should flip from side to side. 